Hey cute people, I want to show you guys an everyday makeup look that I will be wearing pretty much all spring. And it comes from this Wet n Wild palette, which looks like this. Mm -hmm. It's new. I brought it not long ago and I did haul it. I wore it in my last video. And I pretty much like it. It's somewhat like the one I use for Maybelline and Natural Smokes. But um, I decided I'm going to try this because, as you can see, it has a lot of neutral colors. So I just want to show you guys what it is that I do, which you know I am, which you know I am a minimalist when it comes to makeup. I don't do that much, but as you can see already, I have on my foundation, I did my eyebrows the best I could for today. And I have some um, color corrector underneath because you guys know I have the dark circles. And for the purpose of the video, I figured I'd do a little extra more because if it wasn't for the video, I'd just put my readers on and be out and people wouldn't pay too much attention to it. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to use this brush here from e.l.f. and it is the concealer brush. There's a base in the palette, which is this here. I already have on a primer, Urban Decay of course. And I'm just gonna put this base on my eye. And it look a little something like this. Now, like I said, I'm going to be using this palette pretty much every day. So I'm not going to do a whole lot. I'm really going to keep it as simple as possible for me anyway. I'm going to now take this brush here, which is um, Sephora's. See, I don't have my readers on. so I could, It's a crease brush from Sephora that looks like Yay. And I'm going to put just a little bit. Now I'm going to pretty much use the palette the way that um, Wet n Wild suggests you do. Because if you can tell, it has the writing. So this is the crease color. And I'm going to use, I mean, a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit in my crease. And kind of soften up that base a little bit so it won't be so harsh. I don't want to take it too far. I say just a little. We just use windshield wiper motions to go back and forth to get the desired color you want. Now, me for today, I don't want a lot of color. Just some pizzazz, and that's pretty much it. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take another brush. Well, this is a brush by Elf, if I can find it. Which is this brush, the angle brush. And I'm going to use this color here and put some on my brow bone. Now, usually, if I had um, thought much of it, I would have put this on first, but only because then I could blend it in with the um, crease color. Because I don't plan on putting too much. Then I'm going to use my, blend it, my crease brush again. Blend it in with the crease color and the brow bone a little bit so it won't look so harsh. 
and I'm going to use Elf's eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use the color they suggest you can use in your eyelid and that's this color here. I guess it's like a taupe color. And I'm just patting it on my eyelid. Now I'm going back to my crease brush from Sephora and just kind of blending any harsh lines I created. They got to go. You can use a clean brush if you want. I usually just use the same brush that I use in my crease. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I don't really want to smoke out my eye, but I do want to add a little definition. So I'm going to use that dark color right there and I'm just going to, I don't know, this is Studio, I don't know who makes this brush, but it's a crease brush that I brought from Dwayne Reed. And I'm going to put it in the crease and, you know, this is in my V. And I just put a little bit because I'm not really, well, I guess it will be smoky, but I just want to break up some of these colors. So I won't look. For me, I'm just going to bring it up a little bit and put a little bit down here. See, just a little bit, just to break up some of that color. They all look the same. Now I'm going to switch and use this as a blending brush. Who makes these brushes? Because they're so little and cute. Oh, Prevail. Covering that, just bring it up. So from here, then use whatever eyeliner you want to use. I think I'm going to keep it wet and wild. I'm going to use the black H2O proof. I told you before that um, I like a winged eye, but my eyes cannot. And I really want a thin line. I don't want it to be thick. And that's what I do as far as the line is concerned. Just line both my eyes. Being um, half a century old. I'm going to be half a century old plus one this year. But my eyeliner is becoming a chore. Not tell the truth. Then put on whatever mascara you're going to be using. I'm going to use this mascara which is from Black Radiance. And 
And then I'm going to line my bottom lash with um, Wet n Wild's liner. This is Black Black. And then I'm going to use my concealer from Smashbox. I don't use it that often, but it's pretty much my tone. I don't want to highlight. I'm putting it on top of the peach. And then I'm going to use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I'm going to put ever so lightly a very thin application. I'm going to use ELF's Complexion Brush. I'm only going to use a little all over my face. Now I'm going to use Max Raisin on my cheeks for a little fresher color because that's all I need is just something to bring the color back to my face. So now I'm going to do my lips and I'm going to use this Nika K lip pencil I hauled not too long ago. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to pick up something I haven't used in quite a while, and that's Max Violetta. Mm -hmm. And with that, lip pencil my lips are glittery mm -hmm. <sighs> this is somewhat me today and this is me it's not really me until I finish this, right? Because I'm going to be... <clears throat> this is me, minus the earrings. No earrings on yet, but... but this is me. Every day look. So thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next. And I want you to share and spread love. Hey cute people. Subscribe to my channel and check out my last three videos if you missed them. Also, I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram as Ebony Girl Speaks. Facebook, I'm Ebony Girl Speaks Naturally.